So it's that lovely time of year where you get your W-2s in the mail and you're ready to file your taxes. Well, in this video, I'm going to give you a review of TurboTax and how to use TurboTax if you're going to be using the software to file your taxes. Stay tuned. If you are new to this channel, this channel is all about personal finance and investing. So if you want to subscribe, feel free and uh, hit the bell notification because sometimes I go live and when I go live, you can jump in immediately and start asking questions. So I'm going to switch over to my monitor so we can look at that and I'll walk you through the different products offered by TurboTax and which one might be right for you. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to TurboTax.com. It's going to bring you to this landing page. You can read down through this if you want, but it's really not that interesting. If you're here just to file your taxes this year, what you want to do is go over here where it says products and pricing and just click it and it'll bring up a bunch of options here. Just go to online products and if you don't want to think about it and you just want them to auto pick the right product for you, you can just go through and it says tell us about you and we'll recommend the right tax solution. I wouldn't do that because I'm sure they'll try to sell you more than you really need. So if you scroll down, you got the free edition, deluxe, premier, and self-employed. So if you look here, the free edition says zero fed, zero state, zero to file. But there's a catch. So if you go to more details, only if you have a W-2 and you do not have any other kind of income like 1099 income, anything like that, this says it's only for if you have a W-2 and you can claim an earned income tax credit and child tax credits. So unless you have earned income tax credit or the child tax credit you can take advantage of and you only have a W-2, that's the only way you can file for free using TurboTax. So it's kind of one of those things. It's a good way to market the products, but... Most people do not fall under that. As you can see here, it says Deluxe is the most popular. That's what my household falls under right now. So if I click more details, this one you can do your homeowner tax breaks because of your interest on your mortgage. Um, if you donate to charities, you know, you can use this product for that. And if you scroll down through here, um, there's a bunch of other benefits to using this one. If you have rental income, you can use this one. Um, cryptocurrency, not interested. So most people, if you have student loans, a mortgage, and you work for an employer, you're going to fall under the deluxe. Now. If you are somebody that's into like trading stocks or anything like that, and you have a bunch of trades you got to claim, uh, I'll just show you this one real quick. I'm not going to cover too much time on this one. You can auto import your investment info and tax data. So if you use Robinhood, you can just import all your trades through uh, this Premier one. So that's something you might be interested in. I had to use this one last year, but not this year. And then this other product, self-employed, personal, and business income and expenses. This year, I do not need to use this one. Next year, I will need to use this one. So unless you uh, are what it says here, self-employed, um, then you can start moseying around looking at this one. But like I said, I use the Deluxe, so that's the one I'm going to be reviewing and using today to show you how to use it. The first thing you're going to want to do before you start the TurboTax process is make sure you have your W-2s, all your tax documents from your mortgage, um, go to your student loan website or if they mail you a copy of your interest, make sure you have that on hand. If you have all that on hand and you don't have to be digging while you're trying to do your TurboTax, it's going to make it way easier of a process. So I got all of mine right here and I am ready to get started. So if you want to dive in with me, we'll switch over to the monitor and get started. Okay, so if you go back down here where you have all the products they offer, if you go to Deluxe, uh, that's one I'll be using. So here's the thing, they all say start for free, start for free, but it's pay only when you file. So you can start the process and you do not have to pay until you're totally done filing. But I don't know why they make it sound like it's a big deal because if you're going to go through the work, you're going to end up paying to get them filed. So, all right, so start for free. Let's click that. 
Uh, how do you do your taxes last year? Okay, so this is where I may be different than you. I used TurboTax last year. I don't know if you did or not, but I used TurboTax last year, so I will continue. So if you use this product last year, it's going to bring you up to this page after you use your sign-in and everything to get to this point. I didn't show my username, password, and all that, of course. Okay, it says, all set. Next, let's choose the right product for you. So we'll hit continue. Okay, it's loading, loading, loading. All right, sign now, save time later, so sure. Okay, so I went ahead and signed ahead of time, so that way it said it'll save me time. I don't know how or why, but it said that. Okay, let's get caught up on anything that has changed. New employer, got a raise, retirement plan withdrawal. So if you did anything different financially this year than you did last year, this is where you would uh, fill this in. So I sold or traded crypto. I did not. So I'm at the point of the process where I do not want to screen share anymore. So what I'm going to do now is fill this all out. And then at the end of the process, I'm going to show you how much exactly it cost and how long it's going to take to get my refund back if I get a refund. Something I wanted to point out while you're going through doing your taxes with TurboTax. Every once in a while, when you go to a next section, they'll try to sell you something else. So like here, for instance, it's trying to say we recommend doing TurboTax Deluxe. So it gives you all this live help. But I never do that. I feel like it's just kind of one of those things. They just try to keep selling and selling as you go through. And look, it's from 90 to 80. That's pretty expensive. So just wanted to show you that. And don't forget to like this video and uh, subscribe to this channel and you will get notifications every time I release a new video. Okay, so I wrapped up wage and income section here. So now I'm going to do deductions and credits. This usually doesn't take too long. It's usually just simple questions. So let me get started with this and on to the next section. Something else I wanted to show you guys that's pretty cool about TurboTax. So if you come to something like this, do you and Tristan, which is my wife, want to apply your refund to next year's return? If you just click this little learn more tab, it has them all over the site while you're going through doing your taxes. Why would I want to apply my refund to next year's tax return? Or sorry, next year's tax um, so it just gives you a little rundown of why you might want to do it. So pretty sweet to have a little self-help learn more boxes all over the place. So that's always helpful. Just wanted to let you know that. All right, I'm almost done doing these taxes. I will get with you and show you how much it costs. So I'm at the section where it's showing me prices on how much it's going to cost. I'm going to switch over to the display here so you can see it. So if you look here, uh, TurboTax Deluxe, which is the one I have, it is marked down from 40 down to 30 and over here early filer saved 12 percent so it went from 45 to 40 that is helpful and now i'm going to go through and show you the exact amount once it's said and done out of the cart i just wanted to show you guys something that you must watch out for when doing this so if you go down here to where i picked option to pay with the refund it's trying to charge me $40 for that. So I didn't realize that. And I remember last year that it tried to do the same thing and I caught it right at the end like I have now. So um, right now I'm going to go back and pay with a credit card. Save $40. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. So here's something pretty cool they're offering. If you share this link, the person who uses it gets 20% off and you get a $10 gift card for anybody who uses the link. So I'm going to put the link in the description below so it helps out the channel and uh, for making this video. So use the link and save 20%. Okay, so the verdict is in. This is exactly how much it costs for a married couple that's filing jointly to use TurboTax Deluxe. So if you look here, the West Virginia state, that's the state I'm in, it was $40 to file there. And then to use the deluxe for the uh, federal return, it was $30 for that. So after taxes, it came up to $74.20. And that is, again, married, filing jointly. And here's your federal and state. And I took a screenshot like this because it showed too much personal information if I didn't do that, like how much I'm getting back and my income, yada, yada. So that is the verdict. 
Some things you're going to need when you start this process with TurboTax that I failed to mention at the beginning. I didn't realize I needed it till I was in the process. Every year it's a refresher. But you're going to need your license of you and your spouse. Your spouse will have to do their electronic signature too if you're going to file jointly. Something else you're going to need is your real estate taxes so you can claim those. If you know the amount, you won't have to worry about having the actual document. But if you don't know your amount, you're going to dig up how much you paid in personal property this year. And uh, other than that, it wasn't too bad of a process. If I look back here, I started about two hours ago. It's 1130 in the morning now. And it started around 930. And again, I took time out to actually make a video. So you could probably get done quicker than that if you filed the year before with TurboTax. But if you're a new filer with TurboTax, You'll probably have a little more typing to do, putting in a little more information. I'd add maybe about 15 more minutes for that. So other than that, it's not too hard to do your own taxes using TurboTax. And subscribe to this channel because I'll be releasing new videos on investing in personal finance. And thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in the next video.